What's up, everybody? Solo Quester, Solo Quester here. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, I was thinking about what to do next. Um, I kind of introduced uh, Mythic into Iron Sworn, and I, I wanted to go over some things with Mythic, especially I just got my new Adventure Crafter cards, which are pretty pretty much part of the mythic system um, and it's a great backup if you're playing solo um, and I wanted to do everything as much as I can within a small space because a lot of my videos have to do with portability and playing things extremely portable when you have limited space and um, I wanted to let you know I have printed out an advanced hero quest rule book so I'm kind of going over that and learning that system a little bit on my own um, I'll be using that with pretty much the regular hero quest stuff I have because um, a lot <laughs> there's a lot to print out and I think I'll be using um, just grid paper um, for the tiles and uh, just really old schooling it um, it's while I learned the system, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm going to fall back to Mythic and go over some of the basics. Um, the action, um, having combat in Mythic, uh, I've been studying that a lot more. And uh, so I'm going to, and like I said, I, I wanted to start off a new adventure with Rage. Um, Rage is my comic book character that I've been drawing since I was a kid. Um, and I've just recently finished a mini I'm well, molding them. It's pretty much done. And uh, it's my first molded uh, mini using this Needite blue and yellow there, epoxy, putty. And uh, yeah, um, he's not really painted yet, so uh, I might alternate between him and, and using this. Uh, token, which is just this headshot, which is cool. I like them. I like them both. Um, I've already had a mythic adventure with Rage. Uh, he was pretty much in a field with a farmhouse, and uh, he went. He thought someone was in, was in danger, and it turned out he was. It was really much uh, a setup. He was uh, ambushed. And uh, one of the uh, jackal soldiers from his home world uh, tried to take him out. And uh, one of his arch rivals, Butch, who's like a humanoid bull, bull man, cyber, cyber bull, um, was there. And uh, they had a little showdown. Um, and the military showed up. And Rage ended up knocking out. Uh, Butch and getting out of there. Uh, Rage, since he's you know bear man from another planet, he has hard. He's a hard time. His weakness is um, trying to. Uh, his weakness is, is uh, being around humans and communicating with humans, um, since it's still fairly new to him, and. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video, you see I got the fate chart, the mythic fate chart out. Um, I'm going to show you what I rolled up. And as far as the starting location, I used location crafter for my starting location. Which I could have used mythic as well, but this is, you know, the location is, crafter is good at this sort of thing. I uh, ended up rolling return and return whatever else this location contains. It has access to another previously entered location. Uh, so in this case, I would think it's the barn, uh, the field by the barn there. Um, and exit here, I rolled that one. Uh, this location, in addition to whatever else it contains, holds an exit from the region. Uh, it could be a back door of a mansion or an exit from the cave. In this case, I asked questions. I said, is it an open field? 
and I went right in the 50 here, right in the middle. And I figured, well, it's probably likely that it's an open field connecting to the farmhouse outside of it, the front lawn or whatever. I rolled under a 75, so yes, it's an open field. I asked another question, are there any trees around? And that's another one. It, it was yes, because it was under 75. It's likely. Um, and then I asked another question. Is there a pathway through the through the trees? And it came up to 65, which is still a yes, even though it's on on edge. If you get above that number, so if, you, if I got a 66, it would have been no. So what I wrote down on a 3x5 card, and I'm using 3x5 cards as much as I can to make it more... Uh, so I don't have to keep panning across the page and all that and fits on a desk ni nicely. Uh, starting location. Open field uh, with a slight path through the trees. And then, what am I going to use for character? So I rolled up, I used my cards, my adventure crafter cards, which are just another, let me show you, version of the book here, the adventure crafter which again is part of the mythic system. Um, ooh, sorry about that shake. What I ended up picking was, off the top shelf was this card. It says meta, that's the theme. Okay. Now meta, I, I, I didn't quite like meta. I'm not sure what meta is right now. Again, I'm kind of learning this card system as I go with with you through this. So I picked the first uh, theme, with, which is action. These purple cards, these are all themes. So as soon as you pick one, I'd say put it on the bottom, you know. And if one doesn't make sense, then just skip it and go to the next. Um, Mythic's all about kind of like skipping it. If it doesn't work, skip it, go to the next one. Or pick, or pick the one that makes the most sense. So this is the first card. So the character I got is a new character. Okay, identity. Pick two identities. So a whole bunch of these cards say pick two identities. So what I ended up doing is just like, I'm going to go over here. And the identity athlete, that's one identity. So I picked another card for the second identity. Socialite. So... <laughs> Socialite athlete. All right. Um, I also picked from the book. I don't think it was in one of these cards. I think because I was kind of. I wanted to really figure out what, what was going on here. Or was it wasn't what wasn't one of these other cards, but it said entertainer. So I, it might have been an earlier card I picked. I can't find it right now. But um, So really, Identity is Entertainer and Socialite. So I'm going to pick those two. So I wrote them down here. Entertainer and Socialite organization. And part of an organ, a big organization. So it could be like a comedy troupe, uh, a band, a uh, traveling folk band or something, which is pretty zany. Um, okay, so t -t 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 -t. most logical plot line. So the most logical plot line would be Rage is walking after survived surviving his uh, encounter with Butch. Ah. Uh, and the military showing it, showing up. He wanted to get out of there. He's walking in an open field past the farm, and he encounters this person, this socialite uh, entertainer. Um, there's there's the trail going in, in through the forest. Um, again, I could use I could use that. I could switch that in and out. You know, but I'll just show you this for now since he's colored. Um, so yeah, at this point, 
I could show you. And I could write in. This is the scene setup. I'll write in everything, and that I wrote on the three by five card, or I can just write it on the three by five card to save space. Scene setup, everything that's going on in the scene. I can make two scenes and on one card. Um, so let me roll. I'm going to leave this leave off to the next video pretty soon, but. Let me roll to see what, what's going on. So, I'll have to move this. And flip this. Subject. Uh, 20. Joy. Joy. Well, that's good. So he's an entertainer, bringing some kind of joy. Makes sense. Abuse. <laughs> Don't abuse the joy is what the guy's trying to say. <laughs> but if we look at that card that I picked, um, and it was an action theme, there's a chase. Okay, in a remote location, which makes sense. They are kind of out in the country. Um, it says character en exits the adventure, but I don't know why. I mean, we're just starting off, so I'm not using that. So I'm just picking what makes sense here. It is your duty. Uh, chase. Um, some sort of chase going on. Uh, some sort of abuse. There was joy. And then there's some kind of abuse. So somebody's being hurt. Um, maybe rage witness some be somebody being hurt. Um, yeah, so I'll roll again on this chart. Just so I can see if I can clar clarify. A lot of mythic is this, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. A plot. 42 is a plot. 63. Ambush. Okay. So maybe this guy was a distraction for rage. And now he's being ambushed. And if I want to solidify that to make sure um, that's really happening... I can ask the mythic chart. And the chaos factor is at a five, I'd say, right now. Um, starting chaos factor. So am I, is rage being ambushed? I could say, okay. I'm going to say it's somewhat likely. Since he's the only person here, it's Tim and... Uh, and the uh, entertainer person. And it's a no. Since it's a high way over 65. So no. So I'm going to try to make sense of this. He's not being ambushed. Maybe he's being ambushed. Is this, is this guy being ambushed? I'd say likely. Seventeen. So yeah, this person that's spreading joy is being uh, was probably being abused by somebody else, and is being ambushed by who though? By who? So this whole thing could be one scene or two scenes. So let me jot this down, and then I'll show you in the next video. And I'm just gonna do. It's gonna be a one page one page adventure. I'm going to try to put some combat in it, hopefully. It would be nice so I could show you guys how the combat works. I might just do a separate video for that, but... Yeah, so this isn't going to go any further than eight squares, and I'll roll a conclusion. Or, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll roll it, or I'll draw it from the cards here. 
All right, so thanks for watching. I'm glad I'm back. Uh, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, as always, leave a comment. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. And is there anything I need to clarify or, um, yeah, what do you think? And I'll talk to you or I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Keep solo questing. You.